Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I apologize. Apologize. Okay. The mayor's key item is on page 11, CC 24.4, renaming the Toronto Island Ferry Terminal, the Jack Lake Ferry Terminal. Um, it's the mayor's key item, so I'm asking if there are any questions to city staff before we go to speakers. Any questions? Okay, Mayor Ford to speak. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm asking Council to support renaming the Toronto Island Ferry Terminal to the Jack Layton Ferry Terminal for a number of reasons. Jack wasn't just um, the normal run-of-the-mill politician. He was a father and he was a husband and to all of us he was a friend whether we agreed or disagreed with his politics he never took a person i was very very fortunate when i first got elected 13 years ago to sit right where josh is sitting and beside him was my friend and i'm proud to call him my friend jack Layton. And in the first council meeting, um, like many rookie councillors, we're not quite sure how things go. And he taught me procedures, taught me protocol. Um, as for policy, I don't think we ever agreed on any policy. <laughs> but he never took it personally. He said, Rob, go up, uh, give it your best shot, and let the, call, uh, the cards fall as they will. And I'll never forget that. And, um, and I know he went up to other rookie councils at the same time and offered his support on whatever he could do um, to make their uh, first council meeting um, as easy as possible. And then during events out on the Danforth, um, we'd be walking along the sidewalk and you know, Jack would come up and say, how you doing, Rob? And, he was a very, a very gregarious type of person. He liked being around people. He liked um, helping out the little person that might not have had a voice. And um, we shared a lot of things in common, which a lot of people uh, wouldn't believe. So I want to thank um, Jack for his friendship, the energy, um, that he had for everybody and he was a huge asset for the city of Toronto and he will be greatly missed as you know he was the leader of Candace official opposition folks that's a very 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 hard task to be but he did it. He was also an MP, he was also um, a Toronto councillor, both Metro and a city councillor. Um, we put together a working group to see how we could remember Jack. I'd like to thank Councillors McConnell, Fletcher, Nunziata, and Kelly that worked together in doing um, this wonderful job. It was difficult. Um, it was almost um, there's almost anything and everything in the city of Toronto that you can name after Jack if you wanted to because he was everywhere in Toronto. So um, on that note, I would really ask um, that everyone support this renaming. Let's remember um, Jack for the person that he was. Let's support the family. Um, his son Mike, as we all know, his daughter Sarah, wife Olivia uh, through these trying times um, it's challenging uh, on some days so um, on behalf of uh, all the residents um, Councillor Layton and all the members of the City Council um, we're here to support you with, with whatever you need and your family thank you very much thank you and humble
son, and family member. I will not talk about Jack's political accomplishments, but instead thank you on behalf of our family, who has been shown so much love and support from the people of Toronto. The kindness and compassion that this council and this city have shown my family has been astonishing. From the messages of love and hope decorating Nathan Phillips Square, to the ongoing tributes, and to the people who keep offering condolences on the streets and in our meetings here at City Hall. Your warm hearts help us feel optimistic during the time of despair. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Mayor. He has been supportive and kind throughout this process. And he has shown all of us his enthusiasm to find a suitable and relevant tribute to my dad's work and life. I would also like to thank city staff and Brenda Patterson specifically for her, man for her work managing this process. Her grace and sensitivity were commendable. I would like to thank Councillors McConnell, Fletcher, Nunziata, and Kelly who participated on the committee which came up with the ferry docks as the option to move forward. I believe the ferry docks is a fitting tribute to my father's life for three reasons. First, it is a place for families and for our Torontonians to gather. It's a public space. I remember standing on the ferry docks with my family as a child and being filled with a sense of adventure, the anticipation of an exciting journey that was to come and what would be waiting for us on the other side. I think that's a good reflection of my dad's life, a journey full of excitement, full of family, and full of fun. Second is the political connection to the island. As the councillor for Ward 6, he had the privilege of working closely with island residents, many of whom became close family friends. Friendships that have continued with the islanders' dedication of a book of stories about Jack and the island. And finally, and most importantly, it has the strong connection with his family. He danced in the island caravana band for many years. We have great pictures that we'll continue to cherish, if for nothing else, their comedic value. We often spent weekends house-sitting for, for friends on the island, and as, a, and as a family spent a lot of time walking and riding our bikes around and in between the islands. And of course, my dad and Olivia were married on the island in 1988. The docks help create some of my family's most cherished memories and will continue to create those memories for families for generations to come. For this, I offer my sincerest thanks. I will abstain from the vote today out of respect and out of thanks to a city who has shown my family so much love and compassion throughout this difficult time and so much kindness in their ongoing tributes to my father's life from our entire family. Councillor Layton uh, was going to speak, and I realized that Councillor Layton was back in the house. Um, I think my saddest moment uh, was when, uh, after the repose, uh, um, Jack's coffin went through um, the, uh, the doors of City Hall, and, um, and it was the last time that he was here. Uh, I think um, this was a fitting tribute. It was an aha moment when we brought the two parts of Jack's life together. One was his love for nature, for the environment, and for peace and biking. Um, it was really um, a, a special spiritual piece of Jack. And the other was the vibrancy and diversity of the city, a gathering place. Um, and so to me, uh, because of what uh, Councillor Layton has said to us, uh, it really was an aha moment. It really was the right place to be. Um, and the right 
name to have it. We looked at Dundas Square, we looked at parks, we looked at uh, bike trails, we looked at lots of places, but none of them had this bridge between those two parts of Jack. His love for the environment and his love for Toronto's people. Um, this is a gathering place. It's a bridging place. Um, and uh, in, Sus in Saskatoon last week, uh, Olivia was there um, and uh, an FCM right across the country, 2,000 delegates paid tribute uh, to Jack's uh, memory and to his work. Um, and they were all exceedingly happy. Although one of them thought that it was the ferry to the island airport. <laughs> and I had to explain, that would not have been appropriate. <laughs> But it will be also, a few of uh, my islanders have said, it's, it, 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 but it's so shabby. Um, but I think that Jack was also a catalyst for change. And so today I would challenge us to make sure that this is a place of beauty um, and that we invest uh, in the future of this ferry terminal so it's a place um, that Jack could see has transformed. Already the transformation is about to happen. Um, Olivia showed me a picture um, of a, a donated bronze statue, a beautiful, um, exciting uh, piece of sculpture um, that has been done uh, or is being done uh, by David Pelche. Uh, it is uh, funded by the Ontario Federation of Labor. Um, and it will be, again, a perfect uh, uh, a perfect, uh, um, a, a perfect uh, um, honor to Jack. It will be Jack sitting on a tandem bike. Have we seen that before? He will be sitting on the back, and he will um, be encouraging the front seat uh, for every child and adult who wishes um, to uh, to ride with him. Uh, we will be placing it somewhere along uh, Lake Ontario, uh, right beside the, the ferry uh, 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 docks. Um, and as, as a reminder um, uh, that, that our place of beauty um, and our special waterfront uh, was really created uh, by a man who welcomed everyone onto his bike, Jack Lee. And I believe that council will unanimously support his recommendation and the recommendation from the committee. We have, we are going to honor a man who sat in this chamber among us, who then went on to Ottawa, and then last year became leader of the opposition. Who was this man who was among us? And I just simply want to spend a few minutes reminding you you can think about the Jack that you knew and the things that he did, and the number of policies that he developed that we still carry forward today in this chamber. It's very fitting that there'll be a bronze bicycle because there was no bigger champion of cycling in the city of Toronto than Jack. He went everywhere on his bike, as many still do in the city of Toronto, with his helmet or without and always got chided for not having it. But he led that uh, cycling committee. He supported staff, and it was a very big milestone in the city. We matured as far as cycling was concerned. When he was on Metro, it was recycling. He was a champion for all manner of recycling, and I think Councillor Kelly would probably remember that, having sat on Metro Council with uh, then Metro Councillor Layton. The blue box, the gray box, and the green bin, things that he was passionate about and he helped bring those policies forward. The same with the Better Buildings Partnership, the retrofit of buildings in order to save money by reducing energy costs in all of our city buildings and across the city. It's a template that's gone right across the country. He's well known for his advocacy on behalf of homelessness, of homeless people. He wrote books on this matter and for affordable housing. He was out front on that. The White Ribbon Campaign, Violence Against Women, an outspoken 
advocate and developed a very big campaign that's well known <coughs> today internationally, the White Ribbon Campaign. As far as the waterfront's concerned, he was always a champion for the waterfront, including the Portlands. And there was a very famous picture back in about 1997 of Jack, Olivia, and Dan Leckie, with grease all over them, jumping into Toronto Harbor to show that we should be able to swim in our, uh, in our Lake Ontario. That's the one thing I think he has not yet accomplished. You would still have to cover yourself with grease in order to jump into that. But our blue flag beaches are something that is an accomplishment of this city council and comes from that passion for the waterfront and having a great waterfront. From our community, I was just have to say that from the place that elected him over and over and over again, whether it was the old Don River Ward, which was both sides of the river, Councillor McConnell's side and my side, or whether it was simply the east side of the river and then the Toronto Danforth riding, he was a much loved politician. Everybody knew him, they knew his name, he always had a friendly smile, and I think everybody felt he belonged to them. And now at the ferry docks, when people go to the wonderful island, he will continue to belong to every single Toronto. So I think this is a very fitting thing, and just want to commend the mayor again for leading this and uh, having a committee set up in order to accomplish such a thing for our job. Thank you. Recorded vote. Item carries unanimously, 41 in favor. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. I was just concerned about that. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, we'll go to our next item. Uh, but before we do that, um, I'd like to just ask the staff if they have the... Okay. So, can I have the, the member, um, Councillor, Ma um, okay, so which one is first? There's four uh, notices of motion that were, um, that I had the opportunity to review earlier this morning, and so I uh, um, read that it would uh, be put on the agenda, that it is, uh, urgent and the first one is from Councillor Mamaliti it's on the screen and it explains it explains the reason for urgency okay now this is what we'll be doing in future on any uh, motion but again uh, with Olivia and my dad getting married on the island he would have just thought it was very special can you talk to the sculpture sure well the sculpture is uh, is, is sort of another piece of it uh, with, with Jack riding the tandem with, uh, with folks that want to hop on with him. Uh, I think that really speaks to how, uh, how my dad's role was uh, on council and in, in Ottawa. Um, just being there as a supportive partner uh, with folks that wanted to make the change happen. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. 